guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a super chill video. It's raining outside, it's cloudy, it's just like snuggle weather and I know you guys can't tell here because it's really bright because of all my lights and everything like that but if I turned off all these lights it'd literally be pitch black in here because there's absolutely no sunlight coming in because it's raining. So basically I just wanted to do a super chill video for you guys today. Um, I decided to do the 20 um, like random facts about me tag my friend Elba had tagged me a while ago and I totally forgot about it And then my friend Melissa just put up the video and I was like, oh, yeah I should probably get that done So this is the perfect time because it's just like one of those days where you don't want to do anything too crazy You just want to be super chill. So I'll have Elba's channel link down below um, And her video if you want to check hers out, but yeah, let's get right into the random facts about me <laughs> Okay, number one. I have no middle name super weird. I feel like I feel like that is super random random too like who doesn't have a middle name these days if you don't have a middle name let me know down below because there's very few times where I know anybody without a middle name my mom and dad don't have a middle name so then when they had me and my two other siblings they decided to keep it that way so me my sister and my brother all don't have middle names my extended like half siblings do but yeah basically I have no middle name so when I was younger I had two imaginary friends and they're super embarrassing because their names are just so random I don't know where I got this from but their names were Sharani and Kabato <laughs> How freaking random is that? Can somebody please explain to me where I got that from? Um, I don't know. I even used to talk like pretend Spanish, so I feel like, and like make up languages with my sister and stuff, so I feel like maybe they were like part of the pretend language, those names, but yeah, those girls were like my, those were my homies. My mom used to set the table for them and everything, like it was a problem, but. Thank God they're not in my life anymore because that would be really embarrassing. <laughs> Number three, I have asthma. I don't know if any of you know that, but I have asthma. I've had asthma since I was like 10. I have athletic asthma mostly. So when I work out or when it gets cold, um, for the most part, if I try to like run or anything, like I'll definitely get asthma. So I always have to keep my inhaler on me. If I'm working out especially, I always have to take it beforehand. But like in the summer and stuff, I really don't have to bother with it. So yeah, I have asthma. I actually only went to college for one semester. Super random. Um, I hated school. I didn't love school. I wasn't a person that was even good in school. I just did what I had to do to get by. So then like after, uh, after high school, I was like, now I have to go to college. Great. So I went to college and I lasted one semester, guys. One. So yeah. Speaking of back in the day, I have had many, many hair colors. Um, I started like box dyeing my hair when I was super young, like way too young to probably be allowed to box dye my hair. But to me, it was just like a fun expression. I've always been a really girly girl. So I would always put on like the fake nails, like the press on nails. I would, you know, do my hair, but I was never allowed to do like makeup. So I guess like my hair, changing my hair color was fun for me. So I've done jet black, I've done blonde blonde. I've done ombre highlights, I've done um, like chestnutty colors, I've done like an like an art like not what is it like an auburny red. I've done it all, so I've had a lot of hair colors. On that same note of hair colors, I actually won best hair in high school. That was like, you know, the thing that I won in the yearbook. I was super happy about it. Uh, my hair has always been long and I actually really do love my hair. Like if there's anything that I love about myself, I always say it's like my hair. Like I just love my hair so much. So yeah, I won best hair in high school and I'm very proud of that title. I actually played basketball um, almost like I would say pretty much from uh, when I was like 10 or 12 all the way up into high school. Um, I stopped right before my senior year because it was like my last year of high school and I just wanted to enjoy it because ba basketball takes up a lot of time and it's a lot of energy like you're always practicing you're doing a lot all the time basically so I stopped senior year I actually just wanted to enjoy my senior year but I played basketball for a long time I played as a forward so that was pretty much like my only tomboy kind of thing about me I really love playing basketball I think it's so fun but I wasn't that good, so yeah, definitely no pro for me. <laughs> I actually wore a gold mini dress to my senior prom. Why did I do this? I don't know. I think it's like the tackiest thing ever now, and I can't believe I didn't go in something beautiful and long, and like I've never had that princess moment, so I know like when I go shopping for my wedding dress, it's gonna be like intense. But yeah, I wore a gold mini dress to my senior prom, and why? <laughs> 
Another random fact is by the time I went to my senior prom, I had already gone to two other proms. So I was so over prom at that point. I had gone to my boyfriend's prom and then I went with a friend as like, you know, a favorite to him or whatever. So I had gone to two senior proms before I went to my senior prom and I was just so over it. I went, I wore my little gold mini dress thinking I was cute. Then I went to prom, danced for like an hour, and got the hell out of there and went down the shore because that's what we do when we're in Jersey. We go down the shore and we party it up. So yeah, that's another one. <laughs> oh my god, I am so terrified of sharks. Like, I hate the ocean because I'm just so scared of sharks. I hate it. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. They creep me out so much. Like, people are scared of snakes and bugs and stuff. And yeah, those things suck. Spiders and all that stuff. But sharks... They, li I have nightmares, like to this day I still have nightmares of being like in a body of ocean and just like sharks coming and I want to die. I, I don't know, I went snorkeling with Nick in, or I tried to, scratch that. I tried to go snorkeling with my boyfriend Nick in Mexico like five years ago when we went and I was like, I can do this, I'm gonna be strong. I put on that life vest, I took one look down in the ocean once we were in the ocean in the boat, and I literally had a panic attack, and I started like going up looking for air, even though I was like above the water, like a hot mess. And I stood on the boat the whole rest of the time, and Nick is just there like swimming with the sharks and stuff. I was like, have fun, you do you, boo. I'm gonna stay right here. Speaking of panic attacks, I actually don't have like real panic attacks, but I do have anxiety. Um, it's nothing I've ever shared on my channel, I don't believe, unless I've talked about it briefly on my vlogs, but yeah, I have anxiety and it really sucks. Um, I, it's weird because anything can like trigger it and you just never know like what exactly is triggering it. It could be anything and you just don't know how to even get rid of it. So it's something I struggle with but it's nothing that like totally hinders my life so I'm grateful for that. I don't think, I think everybody has a little anxiety in life so I don't think I'm like that bad but I am like I do have it a little bit more than like your average person who has anxiety if that makes any sense but yeah because I have anxiety I hate to travel oh my god I hate to travel I hate to do road trips I hate to get on a plane I hate to be in different places I love being home in my apartment feeling safe like homebody status. I, I used to go out and go hard, don't get me wrong, but like I just don't love it anymore. I go out once in a while, I have my fun, but I love being home. I'm a major homebody. I guess that's like another little random fact, but yeah, I cannot stand to travel. I don't like being in other places. When I go, I try to go for not a lot of time because I just, again, I start getting anxious and I just feel like, what if something happens at home and I'm not there and I can't get there in time? It just sucks. And also having my dog, like I just always want to be there for her. So yeah, I hate traveling. <laughs> I'm an absolute clean freak. Like it stems from my anxiety, I think, because like if my house is clean, it just makes me feel so much better. I hate disorganization. I love being super organized all the time. Um, I I just love anything that's gonna keep me organized, anything that's gonna keep my house looking neat and clean and whatever. I'm all about it. I just, yeah, I'm kind of weird with that in a way. Like my boyfriend kind of wants to kill me sometimes because like, I'm like, no, the pillow goes like this or don't touch that, that's for decoration. Or, normal girl stuff, but I do think I'm like a little bit extra. Like I'm a little bit crazy, just a little bit. But yeah, I'm an absolute clean freak and I don't care. When I go out to a bar, my favorite drinks are either gonna be a beer, a glass of wine or some kind of vodka something usually like vodka soda vodka seltzer water something like that but those are the only really three things I drink I don't like dark liquor um, and yeah that's really all I drink I'm not a tequila girl been there done that so yeah I love a good glass of Pinot Grigio I love a light beer um, and I like a vodka like Grey Goose or something those are my drinks of choice a lot of you guys know that I am Spanish but I actually don't speak Spanish and I absolutely hate it I wish my parents would have spoke to me and my siblings in Spanish when we were younger but they didn't I can get by the most out of all of them but it's definitely like it's it's bad <laughs> really like I think if I got left for a month in another country or maybe two months or something I think I would pick up on it really quickly like a Spanish speaking country obviously but yeah I don't know Spanish I hate that I don't know Spanish and I think I'm gonna make my kids like go to like Spanish school or something is that a thing I don't know I think I'm gonna try to make them learn Spanish young because it's just so necessary at this day and age and it's just it's just something good to know I 
totally wish I knew Spanish. If you know me, you know I only wear five nail polish colors, one of them being black, which I love in the winter and fall, um, and then the other one is white, nude, pink, and then it rotates between like a either a ready, like a darker kind of very red for the full or a bright red, like if I want to pop a color here and there, but that's very rare. So I really don't play with my nails. I don't go crazy. I used to. I used to do the tips. I used to do the crazy colors. I used to do like one nail glitter, one nail not one, <laughs> one nail stripe. Like I don't anymore. I'm very simple and I hate, guys, I hate long nails with a passion. The most I could do are those like press on nails that I do um, from Nail Her. Those are fun for like a switch up here and there and I know I can pop them off when I'm ready and they're not ever like super long but I cannot tell you how much I stand the long nails. I can't stand them on me. I hate like doing stuff with them and I just love a short nail. I think it looks just chic and clean and it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea because they probably look like little nubs to you guys but to me I just I just like them I feel the most confident in my short clean nails that are like one of those basic colors that I just mentioned so my next random fact is I've been with my boyfriend since I was 15 years old a lot of you guys may know this but we've been together since we were in high school since teenagers he was 17 I was 15 and we've you know been on and off here and there we've dated other people and all that stuff but we have always gone back to each other and yeah that's random fact whatever this one is next random fact is I absolutely hate doing my hair oh my god do I hate doing my hair it's like so much work for me I have a lot of hair and you guys can see I just threw it up in a ponytail today which I usually don't do if I'm gonna put it up it's usually in a bun um, but I don't know it kind of had like this flip action going on from last night So I just was like whatever let me put it up in a ponytail I hate doing my hair at any cost that I you know like at any time I don't have to do my hair I'm just like hallelujah praise the Lord So next random fact is I'm actually a huge pet lover huge huge pet lover or huge animal lover I my first job that I ever wanted to be I still remember to this day I was like six and I was like I want to be a veterinarian But the actual fact that I'm trying to get to is that I'm allergic <laughs> me right yeah I love pets I love animals I love everything about them like I just adore them to pieces if I could have like a hundred dogs I would but I obviously can't but yeah I'm allergic so it's really a struggle like even with my dog I still get allergic reactions to her I still get high and red sometimes I still get congested from her fur or dander or whatever it is that I'm allergic to so I make it work and I deal with it because I love her so much she's my baby um, but yeah, I'm super allergic to most animals, dogs, cats, bunnies, horses, rabbits, they're like kind of the same thing, bunnies and rabbits, right? And the last random fact for this video is that the very first video that I ever put on YouTube, or the very first video actually that I filmed, not put on YouTube, because it was the second video I put up, but it was the first video I had ever filmed, ever worked with a Mac laptop, a Canon DSLR camera, lighting, anything like that, it actually hit a million views. How crazy is that? And it's not a good video, I'm not gonna lie, it's really like, I talk a lot in the beginning and it's really not that great because I, again, I, it was the first thing I've ever done, I never did anything like that before, it's my How I Tweeze My Eyebrows video. But yeah, it hit a million views, the first video to ever hit a million views on my channel, um, and although I get a lot of crazy comments in that video of how much I talk and all that stuff, it's just crazy, like, that's random, right? So yeah, that I thought that was pretty cool when that happened, and um, I can't wait for some more videos to hit a million views. Let's make this happen. Alright guys, so that's going to complete today's video. I hope you enjoyed all of my random little facts about me. I try not to ramble too much into each one because I didn't want to be here for 27 years um, talking about myself, but I hope it was just a fun little tag video that you guys were into. Um, like I said, it was just a chill day, so I didn't want to do anything too crazy. And I'm waiting for a couple packages to come in so I can do a winter fashion haul for you guys, which I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers that I can do on Friday like have that video up on Friday But I don't know if the packages are gonna be here in time So if not that one will be up next week, and I'll have a different video up on Friday Hey, hey, I'm filming here. So yeah, if not, I'll figure it out But leave some requests down below for some videos you guys want to see I'm kind of running out of ideas lately, and I've been snap um, What is it called snapshotting snapchatting? Screenshotting! Screenshotting? I've been screenshotting a lot of your requests, but um, I think I'm getting down to like not really that many. And now that I'm doing three videos a week, it's a lot harder to keep up with 
putting out new content. So always leave me requests down below. I guess that's it. I'm done blabbering and talking about myself. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so before you leave. It's the red subscribe button. Just press it and it notifies you when I upload uh, a new video. And like the video if you enjoyed. And don't forget to check out my social media links that will be listed down below for you guys and the people that I tag for this video as well. So thank you guys again. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.